Hey, Ashley. Hi, Mel. Hey, Susan. Hey, Ashley. We'll wait a few minutes to see if anybody else joins us. Yes, look at Ashley. She's got all of her stuff out there too. Hey, Brandon, I got it all figured out. Got it all figured out? Well, it looks like you're already live on Facebook. I know. Only had to walk me through it once, and then I could pretty well figure it out. <laughs> good. That's good. So we're going to wait for just a few minutes and see if anybody else joins us. Okay, that's fine. So just a reminder, everybody who's on Facebook watching right now to if you're wanting to get in and join the call, then you need to click on the link that's in the description for this post. Um, it should just be a, a simple Zoom link. So just click that and it'll allow you to get right in. Okay, let's see, it's just about three, we'll wait. We're going to be making spinners today, something to help with your stress again. Good job, Ashley. I, you did exactly what I told you to do yesterday, didn't you? Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today we're making spinners and it's another stress. Yesterday we made stress balls. Today we're gonna to make spinners and they're like this and you get to twirl them. And then when you pull them, they'll spin for a while for you. And it's just a, another way to relate, uh, rela um, relax and release some stress, okay? So you have your cardboard rounds that I asked you to cut out yesterday, the ones that were here. If not, you'll need a cardboard round about this big. It's about four by four inches and inches across. Then you'll need some colorful paper. You got some colorful paper. Any kind of paper will do. I have some polka dotted ones here, like looks like confetti. So trace around your circle on your paper. And you'll need two of those. One for each side of your cardboard disc that you have. And you'll need to cut those out. Once you get them traced, then go ahead and cut them out. I have found that if you use contact paper, it's really easy because then you can cut them out and just contact them on there. Um, so what you're going to do when you get them all cut out, we'll wait for Ashley to catch up there. Oh, she's got pretty blue paper. And you're going to glue a circle on each one. Well, looky there, it's Janice. So then you, when you get done with that one circle, Ashley, let's go ahead and glue it on one side so we can show everybody, okay? So you got your glue stick there, okay? Put your glue on there and you're gonna cover your piece of cardboard one side and it's gonna look like this, nice and pretty. There you go. And that can dry while you're cutting out your other circle. Okay. So, yep. So we got one side done. Okay. Go ahead and cut your other circle out to put on the other side. We'll give everybody a chance to get that caught up on. This is very simple. You can make these at home. You can use it make them using paper plates. You can use them make uh, using foam plates. Um, you can design your own paper by um, just using typing plain paper and using colors, um, crayons, or you can use markers and you can design your own designs. I went the lazy way and used scrapbook paper. Actually, I use contact paper, so I put able to use it without glue. 
So glue it onto your other side. So you should have both of your sides covered. Like this, okay. And we'll let those, glue, let those dry for a little bit, push it together and lay it down. We'll let that dry a little bit and we'll get our twine ready to go, okay? So if you have some kind of a twine, some kind of a string, good job, Ashley, it looks nice. Okay, and she did hers two different ways on each side, didn't you? Two different patterns. Okay, great. Okay, so now you have some twine in some yarn, whatever kind of rope or anything you guys got. So it needs to be about 28 inches, which is four ruler lengths. So just you can kind of estimate. It looks like it's about, oh, a screen and a half. If you have your computer there, use like a screen and a half. Well, actually it's more than that. It's like four screens because it's real long. Yeah. Got that all cut and ready. And we're gonna put that through our disc here in a minute. Hey Mel, I might need this as a, can you send all the office people here at headquarters one of those so I can spin? They're on the share drive in my camp folder. Yes, I can. They have pictures and everything with them. I can make one for me. I need a little stress reliever. Well, there, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Okay, so hi, how are you doing, guys? Have you caught up with us? Have you seen what we're doing? We need, you have two, you have a cardboard disc like this. Okay, and then you're gonna glue your paper on each side. You're gonna glue a piece of paper on each side, okay? And why some of those guys are catching up with us, we are going to those that are already caught up, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna punch two holes right in the middle of your um, cardboard disc like this. Two holes. Here, I'll put it in the other one so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just like right in the middle, you're gonna put two holes because you're gonna put your string through there, okay? Hi, Annie. Do you have your disc today, Annie? Oh, um, did you get no. your stuff ready? Okay, there's Brian. We've got quite a few people on today. Yay. Okay. The ones, that, the ones are just joining us. Yeah, the ones are just joining us. Make sure you guys have one of these round discs, the cardboard. Okay. And then we're gluing paper on each side of them. Like I'm going to do another one here. I picked out some florally plate, well, some confetti paper. And we're gluing them on. Push it on really good. So you have one side and you'll do the other side. And then don't forget to put the two holes in the middle of your round disc. It'll be flat. So now we're gonna put the holes there. Hope I can guess where my holes are were already. I have a question. Yes. Do we have to make two holes in the card? Yes, you do. Side by side. Uh huh. All right. Two holes. I have two little eyeballs right in the middle. And we have all the instructions and photos of how to do this online too on the share drive. And we'll make sure we get it to you guys. Susan asked for that. Okay. Now you have your disc, it's all decorated. You have your string. Okay, you're gonna take one end of your string and you're gonna put it through one of the holes. Just like you're gonna thread a needle. And you're gonna pull it through. And you're gonna take the other end of the other one and you're gonna put it on the other hole and take them through. So you'll have two links on one side, see? It'll look like a button. You have your string right there and your string are hanging down like this. I'll wait till everybody gets caught up on that. Okay. So it looks like I, I'm sorry, it took me a while. 
That's okay, Liz. It's very simple. You can catch up, no problem. Do you have your cardboard disc? I have the cardboard, but oh, it's gonna. Oh. You just need to cut out two, um, just one cardboard round circle, okay? Okay, so everyone has their button right there. So now you're going to take this and you're gonna put the, put it in the middle, put your disc in the middle, and you're gonna tie these two ends over here into a knot. Make sure they're so even tied. How many pieces of circles do I cut out? You need two paper circles and one cardboard circle, okay? okay. So make sure they're even. You can kind of do it like this, make a loop, make sure they're even. So this will be in the middle. And then you're going to tie this one into a knot, these two into a knot. Okay. Tie it really tight. We're kind of cut all these here. So you'll have it like a loop on this side and you'll have a loop on this side. See what I'm saying? And make sure your disc, it's kind of in the middle. See it? There you go. You, look, the pink ribbon right there is my So You got it, Ashley? You got your string through there? Okay. Now pull it through the other side Pull it on the other side and then tie it. Make sure your disc is in the middle. You'll have two strings on this side and two strings on this side. Okay? And you'll tie these Ashley, two strings pull together. Through. Pull yours back through, Ashley. Hey, Mel, she's got her string all in one. What? Ashley has her string all in one side. She needs to double it. Oh, you have to double it. Yeah. Ashley, double it, string Ashley. Out. Completely out of your tray. okay. Now take your other end, Ashley, and put it through the other hole. Did you make two holes? Did you make two holes? Okay, take this other end and put it through another hole right next to the one you have. You got yours? I know it's not Kathy, but there you go. There you go. Everybody got theirs up and going. Looks pretty good. Liz, hold yours up, Liz, so we can see it. I'm cutting it. Okay. Ashley, did you get it through the hole? Just make another hole, I think. There you go. Pull mm -hmm. it through that hole. And the fun part starts now. Okay, Ashley. Ashley, look up. Pull your string completely out. Pull your string. Yeah, pull your string completely out. Let's see what you're doing now. Start all over. Okay, now. You got two holes. Okay, now take one in and put it through one hole. Put one in through one hole. Wait, how many holes do I make? Two. Two right in the middle. Okay. You know, I don't know if she's going hold it. You got it, Ashley? Okay, now pull it straight through. Okay, now take the other end. Don't pull it all the way through, hon. Okay, does it look like the button? Yes. Well... Okay, now take your other end, take one more end and put it through the other hole. You've only put it through one hole, right? Ashley, mm -hmm. now take this end and put it through the hole, to the other hole, the second hole. So you got two holes there and you've only put it through one. Okay, Ashley. You can hear me, Ashley, right? Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter. Whichever end you want to put through there, okay? Put through the other way now. On the same part. On the same side that you put it in the first time. Ashley, put it through there. Take take one end. It doesn't matter which end, honey. And put it on the blue side. Take it through the blue side through. There you go. It'll work this time. And you should have two loose ends when you pull it through, okay? Okay. Place on the blue tape. Of course. Everybody else got theirs pretty much? I'm getting it. Brian, I know it's not Brian, but. Yeah, but. Sorry. Here you go. 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 Here
There you go, Ashley. Okay, now pull it straight through. Oh, I'm getting it. Maybe. <laughs> Hold your up, Victoria. Okay. So now you have a spinner for those that are done and caught up. We'll help Ashley here in a minute. Like this. And then what you do is you just spin it around like this as tight as it can go. I give up. <laughs> and then you pull it and it'll spin. Well, mine didn't do that, but it should spin. Because I did mine crooked. You know, I think string or yarn might work better than twine. Yeah. Because that's what I have is twine. Twine, yeah, because it might get caught in your little thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Have, like, I have like a wax twine. It's a like a wax. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to switch it out. Get it? Hey, Ashley, did you get it? Ashley didn't get hers yet. <laughs> okay. All right. So Okay, that's what you want to do now, Ashley. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. It, now tie your two ends through. together. Tie your two ends together down there. Yep. Okay. You might want to cut off about this much of your yarn, hun. Cut about this much off. You you have it kind of long. There you go. Okay, now tie that in the knot. Tie those two two ends in a knot. So Victoria. You got it, Ashley. Now. Okay, now. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, you got it. See, the light bulb went on. There you go. So we, just... I got it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice job, Ashley. Way to work through good it. Job. Never give up. That's good job. Good job, Ashley. And it's just kind of a relief, you know, you just pull it and twist it. The prettier the paper is, the you know, people look at it and it looks really pretty when it's spinning. It does. Well, Victoria, take your thumb out of there and spin it. And so, no. yeah. So yesterday we did stress balls. Today we did spinners. Ashley, you never gave up. That was great. I loved seeing that. You just kept on going. I'm not giving up. <laughs> you never did. Did you get it, Liz? Did yeah, I got it. it. You got it there, Liz? Almost. Okay. Annie gets on here to socialize with us, see what she's doing today. So since you guys are on here, what kind of crafts do you guys like doing or would like to learn to do? Annie, uh, do you have any ideas? Yeah. What do you, um, what do you like to do? I like to do drawings. Oh, drawings. That's good. I could teach drawing classes. I just drew a frog myself the other day. Can you draw? I, I love to draw. I just don't know how to do it very well. I'm not yeah. sure, but I could draw swords. Oh, how cool, Annie. That's pretty, really neat. Thanks. It's an arp sword. Okay. Does anybody else have an idea of what they would like to do in arts and crafts? I will do anything that you guys would do because I like doing crafty stuff. Anything. Okay. <laughs> Well, yes, go ahead. Right. What would you like to do? Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Victoria, say that again. She's muted. Yeah, she's muted. She needs somebody she needs some muted. There. Okay. Go ahead. Pets. Oh, okay. Those are kind of cool to do. That's neat. Liz, is there something you like to do? Uh, not really crafty. Well, you did this today. Did you yeah. do yesterday too? You did yesterday too, didn't you? Yeah. I like to paint rocks. Well, we're going to paint on Friday. That's going to cool. be good. Mm -hmm. Friday. Yeah. 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 I'm going to show you what we're going to do tomorrow so you guys will be prepared and bring all your materials with you. Yeah. What we're going to do is we need some kind of a wire or a pipe cleaner that we're going to put in a circle like this. Pipe okay. Okay. Wire. It's great. Cool. So you can, we're going to put it like this. Then you're going to need ribbon. Any kind of ribbon that you have in the house. I did fourth and July. Any kind of ribbon that you have. Okay. Tie it on onto this, and we're gonna make wind socks to put on your porches or hang in your windows. Okay. Oh, cool. So, and then 
you might need the extra um, pipe cleaner to hang them up with, you know, but, but this, I did a 4th of July one on here, but I'll have different oh. ribbons to Oh, that's pretty. So anybody just bring whatever ribbons you have around the house. Um, you, if you're going to put it outside, you probably want little silk with ribbons or something, but if you're going to keep it inside the house, um, you can use um, crepe paper or anything like that. Okay. But we're going to do the ones with the ribbons on tomorrow. Okay. So does anybody have any questions? Hey, nope. Mel, you know, look That's at fun. pretty artwork here and look down here at Brian's. That's pretty cool. Is that a butterfly? Do I see her artwork? Looks like she's cut out butterflies and put them on a um, poster board. That's <laughs> pretty. Tell, tell her you made that for daddy. I got it for my father's day. You made it for your dad for Father's Day? That is really cool. Yeah. It's a bunch of butterflies, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a black and green. Yes. How where how did you cut out the butterflies? Oh, me too. With what? What did you put them on there with? Oh, it's in the butterflies and the wings. And you put them with the glue. And glue. Oh, wow. That looks nice, guys. Okay. You got it? Here we go, guys. Let's all spin them together. Spin it. Spin it. I'm fixing mine. Oh, you're fixing yours? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got better, you got better uh, ribbon. Oh, Mike to the rescue there. Yeah. That's it. Oh, Chris, That's Mike. Oh, Coach Mike. Coach Mike. <laughs> Take the knot and push it through. I not do that. <laughs> On, if you guys are going to join us on Friday, I'm just going to give you a heads up in the next Ooh, couple days when you go take a walk or something, you want to find some pretty rocks, just flat, smooth rocks. Ooh, really that's a rock. Rocks on yeah. Friday. Okay? Okay. Take a walk. Nope. Walk. Go, go get a few of the rocks. You can get two or three because we're going to do a ladybug. We're going to do a bumblebee. Yes, mm -hmm. Ashley. Um, You asked me what crafts I like. I like uh -huh. to paint. And draw. Ooh. Well, uh, Susan, are you on? I think there's a drawing on Somo at Home. If you yeah. go on there, I think someone was showing people how to draw on Somo at Home. So you can go to the Facebook and pull it up and watch it. So you can do that. Okay. There's cooking classes on there too. Uh, there's magic. Are right there. the toothpicks? Oh, look at there. You have some rocks painted, didn't you? I got I made this a box. Wow. Well, we're going to make ladybugs and bubblegum on Friday, okay? It's a bubble Yeah. yeah. You Those can are make cool, it a guys. Friday. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? I like it. Yeah. Okay. It's been fun seeing you guys all. We'll see you tomorrow for the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, Liz. Bye. Bye, man. Bye. 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 Bye.